hello 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 welcome back to the big fat psychic channel i'm so pleased to be reading again for you today okie dokie uh my mum's been in hospital uh for uh, uh over a week so i was busy very busy uh and then i had my grandchildren and then i had some uh, my brother come and do some decorating for me so uh apologies but you know what didn't really miss much did we we already said what was going to happen in nigeria huh well i've got a apparently i've got to read on harry okay so i was gonna go with uh megan and uh get right into it but i suppose that'll be the next video so let's have a look then what universe what do you want us to uh to know uh, about harry oh he's in trouble okay uh so this is your little shit syndrome uh you know it can also be a person that's uh been in uh, prison or some kind of like uh detention center or you know bad boys club um this is a person with lots of things going on What do we need to know about Harry? So, you know, uh, as well, though, I think it's whatever it was, he's done something deliberately. Uh, you've got mischief. Well, I feel like there's a chief here. So milking the situation, a chief. So like a, somebody in a tribe, maybe, uh, if that's possible. Or it could be uh, the chief of defence or uh, whoever. But I do feel like there's a, a problem here, a big problem. Uh, an inconvenience to others. <laughs> Card matches my nail varnish, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, let's have a look. So that's what he wants us uh, uh, to know. How does Harry feel about this? Well, it's affecting his family. How does he feel about it? Uh, he's trying to keep the peace. So something, you know, he's done something deliberately uh, to try and keep the peace. To keep his relationship going. I believe Harry knows, you know, that or believes, okay, doesn't know, uh, but believes uh, Megan could be to and fro in here in their relationship. Well, that's just about control. Um, but, you know, after a long, long time, it does sort of like, it wanes off and becomes less effective, but it makes the other person uh, immune to it. So, I don't know, Harry's not at the immune stage yet where, uh, all, uh, where it's just a uh, fall off. I think one of the best things I ever said to my husband uh, was that, or anybody else, uh, is that you have no power. Your words have no power over me. Well, he got mighty, mighty upset about that. All the things to get upset about when we argue. But, uh, you know, yeah, that really did him in. <laughs> oh, dear. It was, especially because it was the first time. So I think he's going to uh, deliberately stare things uh, uh, about maybe risk to his family oh that could be so many things i'm not just gonna go with what we know uh let's have a look sir deliberate staring and making mischief about his family next question <laughs> Where he's been? Where has he been? Okay, so um, how's Harry feeling about himself right now? Oh, it, it, there's no stopping him. You know, it's the big I am, uh, the 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 big chief. So he is actually feeling much stronger um, uh, as well. He's been in his element. Um, Do you know what it was? It was the, uh, the I keep seeing the uniform, so he was inspecting him. I mean, how 
ridiculous is that but it's so desperate you know to be doing something like that and i've told you before these two communicate with uh, the royal family through the media there's no doubt about it they've always always done that you know when she was going on about that she could make a book uh, that she didn't sign an nda you know that was a message uh, to the royal family So he was in his element, was he, you know? Well, they didn't look uh, in their element, did they? And the fact that they, you know, uh, they will have been thankful that they have to look ahead uh, and not, you know, it's like not look at your your sergeant or whatever, if you're in the army or, or something. Um, but, you know, with Harry, there was looking over his shoulder. There was not uh, making eye contact. Uh, he spoke to, uh, said something to one person. And then if you notice, he goes down the line uh, and towards the end and he goes to speak to somebody. Well, their lips don't move. Their lips don't move. I think it was a woman, actually. So, you know, I think as far as uh, they, they was concerned, uh, you know, this was as much welcomed as the clap. You know, uh, it, it was seriously. Their faces, uh, their, their way that they was uh, projecting and, and looking for themselves. There wasn't, there was there and there was partaking, but there wasn't taking any notice uh, of Harry, they just knew that they had to do this. There was probably more concerned with uh, filming going on and, and photos uh, and stuff. Maybe, you know, they're not quite used to that on that scale. I mean, it, you know, uh, was it Nissan Harriman? He had to have two cameras, you know. <laughs> two. Two. Why need two, you know? Unless there was different makes and that, but uh, he was probably taking them at, you know, the same time, every angle, trying to get it all to look like a, a crowd. If you notice, people wasn't pushing him away. They was pushing him together, you know, come, 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 uh, and all gathering uh, so that it looked or uh, appeared uh, that they had lots of people uh, around them. I mean, it set me off to you for thinking like that. Just scheming in it, but they're used to it now, and they're they're a lot better at it. Okay, um, so what does um Harry expect uh, from this? He wants to be in. He wants to be in. He wants see him, you know, uh, look in the way he would in uh, the. UK uh, if he was having to do something like that or when he's had to do it before you know he had a, a uniform on then not a cloth top um so yeah it's uh he, he wants back in that's why he kind of will feel uh that his ego has lifted so now you know that's just what he needed to go forth and uh well to to go forth <laughs> to go forth do something crazy you know they they're bigger the egos uh that more likely uh they will make a mistake so what we're looking for is mistakes that not what we see on the surface but what we see uh below so all the uh shady actual de uh decisions the um delaware companies i mean i don't know are we on 27 yet um and, and where else you know uh they're bullying that's to come out the surrogacy, you know, that should come out. Um, and yeah, so I do. What will Harry do now? Because of his ego. Oh, he's going on there, you know. He's going to come up with something else, you know, something else, uh, an opportunity to follow. This is going to be something new. Um, and also, uh, it's so like spared Harry on to kind of see some light, okay, that um, they're doing something different. So he's going to try and be a half in, half out royal. What I did tell you before on the Commonwealth uh, videos is that there was, you know, they want to, so just act that way. So that's wrong. They want to 
uh, become that role so you know they're just doing it they'll they'll end up going to another commonwealth and another commonwealth and another commonwealth you know because this is a way of trying to force uh charles's hand and, and recognize them i mean i don't know if charles is uh strong enough because this is again a relentless couple of years uh where they're trying to do these things so you know um he is He's excited, creative. It's quite a, a manic attitude. The way even his uh, pitch and his voice uh, will have changed. Uh, it'll be a lot higher rather than lower and serious tone. Unfortunately, though, it's like... He does silly things, so whether it be pulling faces or jumping up and down uh, and, and stuff like that, you know, that, that's kind of, oh, wait, oh, what, you know, what's that all about? What do we need to know about Harry? Behind the scenes, you know, he's meddling and, and doing all this and you've got the uh, the the contents, you know, I feel like contents there. Continents are, yeah, definitely. Everywhere's going to be the family. Everywhere's going to be uh, the family. I mean, talking about mental health, right? Harry does non-stop uh, talk about mental health and then he's a kind of hypocrite because... You know, all the techniques he advises uh, haven't worked on him. He clearly has uh, a, a mental health issue. Whether it's trauma and everything else, uh, you know, it, it's he needs to get his big boy pants on and kind of look at in his life what he's accountable for, what he's been doing, you know. He's, he's doing the opposite to his mother. His mother didn't set out uh, to destroy the monarchy. She didn't. She was very, very peeved uh, about her marriage situation. But again, it was more complicated than that. And he's doing the complete opposite, you know. Diana, uh, he wanted... She was trying to protect him, but also prepare them. She prepared, uh, helped prepare uh, William as well. I mean, there are other family members, but yeah, he's uh, he's, he's not well himself. So it's when you've been through mental health or experienced it, and then you recover. Well, that's the time that you should be able to talk about it and give advice from like your perspective. But as you can see, Harry uh, is still traumatized uh bitter angry uh just sullen arrogant egotistical entitled and quite a lot of those things are nothing to do with uh uh mental health okay uh what uh problems does harry have ahead of him Well, is Harry going to be tempted uh, to say something uh, about more uh, difficulties? I don't know, I see a relationship as well. Uh, not looking uh, too good. We did get, uh, you know, they wanted me to read on that. Somebody sh uh, staring. I think for, uh, you know, stuff that he announces or is announced, some of it will, uh, I see only one, there'll be several, but I see only one uh, with a possibility, um, and this one I'm just getting, you know, a, a lot of difficulties here, and probably, you know, not just with Megan, but it's run out of ideas, so therefore we can't claim it, that could be to do with Netflix, I just feel like getting caught out as well. So it's all right him feeling uh, on top of the world and everything and superhuman and he's been doing a lot and getting a lot done.
you know, I just get uh, somebody not wanting to do something with him as well, maybe uh, backing out. As if it's got no road to go. Uh, what is this to do with Megan? I think it's uh, to document, you know, to sign in things uh, as well. Um, for some reason, this looks to be, you know, Harry being tempted, you know, to pay, to pay more out in a certain way. Uh, to pay more out than he is doing. I think it's about the projects they have. How is there? Uh, how is Harry feel? How does Harry feel about? Uh, Megan during the Nigeria trip he didn't want to be doing this you know uh, I, I see that he was in complete despair now this is to do with uh, him staring up things like doing the soldiers and going to Nigeria and uh, using his HRH I don't believe it was Harry that uh, requested that I believe it was Megan so what you do is you drop her you use HRH for uh, Harry and then Duchess of Sussex because that is more acceptable to having HRH Harry uh, to HRH uh, Megan because then there would be full uproar, you know. But when you do it to Harry, and because he's the king's son, and, you know, it could be a slip of the tongue like it was in the court. Um, yeah, I just feel like that's the way they're doing it. And then you get, you know, every so often you get a bit more HRH with uh, Harry. Play the game, they can't really do anything. And then you add uh, Megan uh, to it later down the line. And if you kick up a fuss, then it's because you're racist. <laughs> Absolutely, you're racist. Nobody was bothered uh, about Harry's, uh, and now they're bothered about Meghan's. Believe me, that's how uh, she plays it. And how uh, did, so, you know, honestly, I've got despair, despair, you know, didn't want to be there going through all this charade. He didn't seem to be enjoying it as much as Megan. She had that uh, mania phase on it, you know. Uh, she did have the mania phase on it. <laughs> How does Megan feel about Harry uh, in Nigeria? I think she left him alone a, a few times uh, as well. You know, she like kicked him out and said, uh, you have to stay in another room. Um, so maybe he didn't do anything enough. Maybe he did something enough. Maybe he smiled at uh, a lady. Uh, maybe he chatted a, a sentence longer than he should. You know, all these kind of things would have given her uh, absolute carte blanche uh, to say, you're not sleeping in here tonight. Get yourself another room. She didn't want to uh, go out with him neither, you know, I feel like she just, she could have even left uh, him earlier. I don't want to mix with people, you know, so it would have forced him to, to go uh, alone. I don't know, I just feel like, you know, she didn't want to uh, be with other people. You know why, don't you? You know why? Was this in case anybody asked her for proof of Nigerian ship? Absolutely. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, family tree. Yeah, family tree. Ha <laughs> I love it. Okay, so that's why she uh, uh, remained uh, uh, away. And this would have made Harry feel very, very uh, ill at ease. Did Harry actually, you know, uh, go out alone then to meet these people? Eve uh, didn't go at all because he's got, you know, 
damned if you do damned if you don't but you've got the tenor of uh, swords here this uh, indicates absolute ruin uh, and despair i think she ruined his night she ruined his night so did harry yes Yes or no? Uh, did Harry go out alone without Megan? Yes, because he did agreed, you see. Oh, is is uh, there? There'll have been a right kick off, okay? A right kick off here. So to do with it, you know, just trying to keep the peace uh, and everything. It would have looked like he's trying to keep the peace, but you know, Megan uh, has fully gone on one now. Uh, she's got the uh, shot. She's got the days over. She's going home soon um and it's their their last night you know people can only people with issues can only uh behave themselves for a, a few nights maybe sometimes a bit longer but in that situation where there's a lot of stress heat people asking questions she's avoiding you know she won't go anywhere near this uh, genealogy uh report actually you know most nigerians uh, know that this is uh, not to be true Yeah, he had to, to go meet somebody, you know, he'd, he'd committed himself and he liked him and the guy liked him. Uh, so it, it was about uh, that as well. Well, Niagwe or whatever her name is, so no offence there. Um, I'm just going off memory, but it's an important lady or something that uh, is part of trade or something, you know, who Megan said that they've got to know each other over the past few months. <laughs> that's cut you know that's doing the work girl that's doing the work does uh yeah so after our list does uh nigawi has she asked to see any evidence uh no she she doesn't and in fact she doesn't actually trust uh it, it, Megan and do you know why because I've got trade in didn't we just say she's kind of some kind of a uh, trade uh, deal so she knows that uh, Megan is not sincere uh, also you know the, about Harry especially about Harry and it's not their money okay so what they want is uh, to apparently misappropriating uh, funds so she is well aware what they're after and she don't trust them, so it's kind of a, a wasted effort. I mean, when you're sat with somebody uh, and all she's doing is uh, complimenting herself, you know, uh, there was nothing to share with uh, about Nigeria. It was all forms of uh, flattery, you know, flattery. And so she's well aware uh, that, uh, you know, these are, are not to be trusted as well. They got the uh, lower untrustworthy brother. I'm sure she would have uh, considered uh william more of a, a fit so you know they've been buttering her up uh, for months uh, and what they want is uh, finances that don't belong to them um uh, and access uh, you know from money that they don't have yeah did uh, nigawi request um Did Nigawai, yeah, so did Nigawai, what's her name? Nigawai, Nigawai. Uh, did Nigawai, uh, all of a sudden I've got a pr problem with that <laughs> word. Um, yeah, so did she, uh, did she want proof of uh, Megan's genealogy? Well, I know we asked that already and we're getting the pen. Uh, um, do you know what? I think she even knows that. This is an impossibility or, um, you, you know, if she did, she didn't see it, you know, so she may have asked her about it. Uh, have you got that report with you? Oh, can I'd love to see it. Who doesn't have it on their phone, on their um, emails, you know, uh, on 
Ah, well, you know, where, wherever. Who, who doesn't uh, have that? So she wanted, uh, Megan couldn't uh, do this. So it's like they've been caught out in the end. And I do believe, is this to do uh, with, you know, is the bad feeling coming from Megan's inability to... to... There's all this about um, Megan uh, not being able to... Uh, Megan being asked uh, to show up uh, with a genealogy report. A lot of people was asking. A lot of people was asking, okay? Uh, and, it, like, Megan has created... All day she spoke about being 43% uh, Nigerian uh, and then doesn't expect others to say, all right, and what was the rest? Oh, let's see it, you know. What else are you made up of? Or oh, what else did uh, else did you make up? And I don't feel... Do you know what, right? She's in this... Uh, so let's get on this first. Uh, so bad, and she's created rods for her own back of her own doing. She could not go out uh, to either a party or something. Uh, she was mighty upset that Harry had to go, and he insisted still going. Uh, it really did cause uh, quite a rift between them both, maybe even a ruckus. So you're looking at this lady who, uh, Nagawi, um, has got their number literally has got their number playing it very uh, good you know uh, i can see when people are lying so the reason i don't call them out is because i want to prevent them uh having to lie again either to defend it or uh make some something up i don't see and you know i don't see uh, the reason to humiliate them knowing is enough for me So she would uh, see that as well, you know. You think people haven't said to Nagawe, hey, I'd be careful there. She was buttering up, uh, what's his name, that old guy uh, with all the billions. Bill Gates, Obama, uh, Biden. Uh, can't remember who else. Prince Andrew. <laughs> so, yeah, she's, uh, you know, created uh, rabs for her own back. Now, what I wanted to say was, oh, my word, she had as like a zebra dress on, okay. Now I'm no pair, but did you notice her boobs or lack of them? Now I've said this before, so I don't know what she does. Whether it's uh, you, you know, uh, it's definitely not co cosmetic then. Um, but you go up, you go down. I mean, her boobs have gone up uh, more times than a tire with a slow puncture. You know, uh, I, I don't, I just feel like it's, there was none. And then when she's wearing a, a white dress, uh, you've got a bit, uh, a bit more. So I don't know, guys, maybe you can tell me whether it was the dress. But when I looked at the dress, do you know what I pictured was uh, when my daughter was younger, I used to take her shopping and we always had to be careful of what uh, tops because there was for big boobies, you know, or anybody with boobies uh, and she, she barely had any bless her so um so yeah that's you know uh, that dress shouldn't have been i don't know maybe you know she was frightened if she taped it up at the wrong side it'd be exposed I, i've just no idea but uh there is uh you know uh does does megan uh markle change her boobs regularly <laughs> yes Oh, look at that. So, you know, uh, more information to be revealed here. So someone telling us uh, about Megan's uh, boobies. So glad I mentioned it. I don't know why. You know, maybe everything's gone tits up for them. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I get this from. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I, I think uh, we'll find out more there uh, as well because uh, this is uh, the talk of it uh, as well. So for for two years, I've had uh, uh, breasts apparently uh, on my mind. <laughs> Not every day, I can assure you. No, just every now and again when you see you wearing something and I think, hang on a minute, you know. Or it could be the camera as well. Uh, maybe we see her on film and then uh, there's a difference uh so uh, from Nissan, you know, uh, where he, he makes her, her up. And oh, and I have to say, I have to mention, okay, so uh, nothing to uh, that 
nothing ruder than Nigerians, okay? But did you see her when she was uh, Megan? Uh, looked like a canary in that bloody long, long dress that was as bad as I don't know what. Yeah, so they'd uh, obviously put some kind of, um, oh, I don't know what the word is, but material there, you know, uh, which did look uh, lovely. But I couldn't help uh, but, that, but notice uh, that the tea towel had a lot of folds in them. So it, it was like uh, they should be ironed, you know, and, and sp uh, it smoothed. Um, so I don't know whether she just bought this out at the shop or, or something because, uh, or somebody did, I don't know. I mean, she stood out for all the wrong reasons and just, you know, who, who doesn't uh, make sure uh, a shawl like that is uh, beautifully uh, ironed, you know. You don't see anybody else uh, with folds in it. But anyway, <laughs> that's uh, another thing. I nearly said, oh, I've seen more folds in her cheeks than I did on that towel, though. So, <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, dear, a bit late in the day. Okay, then, so, you know, uh, what is... Uh, What challenges will Harry face next? Probably uh, trying to make, uh, you know, uh, Megan's w dreams come true and, and wishes, uh, you know. He's trying to get a, a yes. I did say he's going to pull something out of the bag because of this, uh, you know, ego boast. It's like I can go do anything. Um, so that has... Um, pushed him he wants to make all his dreams uh, come true he's got what two children a wife uh, his father uh, William Catherine um, I think Eugene is definitely out then he's uh, Invictus and his uh, Commonwealth uh, travel maybe even his kids I don't know uh, so you know he's going to be focused on uh, trying to achieve uh, the uh, unachievable and he might just you know I think for Harry uh, this has reconnected him to the the royal royal ways in him okay uh, this is it's made him more determined uh, as well you know will Harry try and uh, resolve things with his father I tell you, they're going to continue this half in, half out uh, approach, uh, trying to prove to his father that everything can uh, go well. Uh, and so, you know, I think uh, it's not easy at first, but as time progresses with this little scheme, which was actually uh, dreamt up uh, before Jamaica, okay, this was always on uh, their cards because uh, when you say to somebody, I can't be half in, I can't be half out, huh? If you, you know, if you're that way inclined, you're going to go, well, actually, I am. And you do it straight away. Whereas they they left it, you know, in stages. Of, they probably got a 12-year plan or something uh, uh, about how they're going to uh, achieve certain things. So, you know, he's hoping uh, that this will uh, pay off, you know, and successes he has uh, with Invictus. I don't know what's driving him. You know, there's a significant change uh because before he was willing to go along with Megan, and as you can see, you know, he, she absolutely made his life a, a misery, okay? Um, and he's fearful, he's fearful that this would come out. Maybe we're talking about boobies as well, because, you know, uh, you shouldn't have that on show. You know, the sad arms or even the crease, you know. I mean... Well, when I go to Egypt, uh, they like you dress. You don't dress. I mean, I know people do, but I never dress. I dress uh, within line of their traditions. You know, um, like you know, cover your arms, uh, cover your chest, uh, especially uh, your legs, especially my legs. <gasps> but anyway, uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, you you do as they do in in a certain way. This is why I've never understood why uh, people come to the UK. Uh, and we have to change our ways, you know, in every other country I go to, I have to adapt to their ways. And I don't mind that, you know. You know that before you travel.
Okay, uh, and Megan then, you know, what's, what's Megan afraid of about this trip? That she's, uh, you know, kicked off with Harry. I mean, she's had serious issues uh, for a long, long time. Uh, you know, some would say most of her life, uh, in fact. Uh, she's afraid that, you know, her unhappiness and, and squealing uh, would be brought out as well you know that maybe somebody said to her who's a kind person uh would say do you know what you need to see somebody or you need to talk to somebody uh i feel like somebody trying to be gentle uh, with her but all she's got in her, her eyes is uh fire you know uh aiming uh uh harry she does not like anybody else to pity harry or feel sorry for her, him uh because she takes it as a, an insult to herself I think she's been taught uh, to, you know, seek uh, help. I really do. And I don't think it was Harry because that's too, uh, you know, Harry would say that quite a lot, I imagine. Was this like some kind of, you know, uh, third party? Was this a third party uh, that has, uh, you know, tried to calm Megan down? Oh, you better believe it. You better believe it. Okay, so uh, I've got, you know, she, uh, first of all, she was there, uh, and it is a, a she, I believe. Uh, she was there uh, to, pro like, get Megan to feel better uh, and feel safe, you know. Uh, so she, I don't know what's gone on, but she's having, like, tears and tantrum uh, and guidance. So she's been, you know, telling uh, Megan what to do uh, as, like, a, a Nigerian woman would so like you know um wait things to to calm down and then speak to your husband you know I kind of get that but I also get that she wants to be a star <laughs> I do okay I do uh, absolutely so uh, Megan's shitting herself you know uh Harry his worst nightmare has occurred when you scream and shout at somebody and they don't appear to be listening or taking it in, then what happens? You shout louder. And then you start screaming because you lose control, you know. And I really, really feel that's uh, what's gone on uh, with, with Harry. Even, like, a, a knock at the door. Didn't I say to you before I felt him with a knock at the door, uh, is the knock on the door relevant, yes or no? Oh, no. No, that's not the way it went, it said. That's not the way it went, okay? But I'm getting uh, recover uh, monies. I think this woman... So will this woman tell? Will this woman tell? Again, you've got this uh, bullying situation, okay? This bullying situation, uh, going about things in the, the wrong way, not doing it correctly. I don't even know if this uh, has also got to do with uh, paying a tip or, you know, a hotel. I don't think it is the hotel. I think it's to do with, uh, you know, trying to get uh, money so th the plan hasn't stuck, okay? So maybe uh, this is it, you know, uh, that's exposed is they've gone about things definitely uh, the wrong way, uh, had a fight uh, as well. So could this be then that, you know, Megan is disappointed not to get any funding? Yes or no, is Megan disappointed not to get any funding? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so that's what sets her off as well. And why do we have to go to these people? And everybody else is asking me, uh, you know, for my genealogy uh, report. I mean, they, you know, did the vast uh, uh, attendees of this uh, sh performance, you know, did they believe that Megan was lying?
you know what? I just think uh, anybody who asked her, so who was around uh, children uh, and wanted more detail, or even children uh, even asking. I mean, one that a uh, uh, shocker. I spotted it uh, right the minute I saw it, where that poor little girl, she'd gone off uh, to get some uh, fruits or something, uh, and, you know, they, their tissues and everything, are so they can wipe their hands. I think it's, like, their tradition, maybe. Uh, and she's turning away from the uh, the woman and she's turning away from this child uh, and then just walks off and she clocked uh, the child with the tray. If you go back uh, and watch it, uh, you see a lower a glance and then, oh, as if, you know, quick thought in a man. I can't be doing with that. I don't want my hands to get mucky. Or, you know, uh, I don't fancy it. Uh, it might not be uh, clean enough, you know. You don't know where it's been, always been on it. Uh, so she turned uh, away. She could have, if that ever came out, she can say, well, it's procedure, you know. <laughs> when you want to be royal, uh, you, you know, uh, there's a, a chain of command for, for food and everything. So, yeah, that was just, uh, 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 that summed her up, you know. I saw that child's face and she looks at the lady, doesn't she, to the, what is it, the, the right, Megan's on the left. Uh, and she looks to the lady and the lady so like gives her, a look and she turns around i just think that's uh you know awful uh awful so i think uh you know they do feel like megan's got it wrong you know which uh genealogy uh site did she go on you know was it toys r us or something i don't know um <laughs> you know what you can have an astrological sign done uh, by google and internet and everything but you know do, do you actually believe it do you know do you believe it I don't know. How did the uh, woman in braids uh, feel uh, about Megan just like completely cutting her out and looking away? Huh? You see, two of ten earth swords. This is bad. This is uh, bad uh, as well. She was so disappointed, she worried, you know, about uh, why Megan turned away, uh, maybe internalised it herself and said, you know, was it something I said, uh, you know, uh, but I think uh, she'd absolutely ruined uh, this uh, lady's uh, conversation, you know, interaction, that's the word, interaction, and then with that child, you know, uh, will this lady come out and, uh, you know, uh, say this look as always there it's a t you know the high priestess uh, again uh, so this lady you know maybe she has two stories to tell maybe she has two stories to tell but i'm telling you now it will uh, come out it will uh, come out Is uh, Meghan and Harry worried that, so that's Meghan, that's Harry, uh, is Meghan and Harry worried uh, that, you know, their shocking behaviour will come out? Meghan. Stick to the plan, stick to the plan. So she's more uh, bothered about... Um, well, they didn't bring gifts and, they, you know, didn't benefit, did they? The Nigerians uh, uh, caused a lot, you know, there's already unrest and instability there. Uh, that it was quite irresponsible. I think that they're going to be, you know, told uh, they're quite irresponsible. So something, you know, about not going, wasn't in the plan, didn't, didn't bank on this. Uh, and that, you know, uh, are they worried? Well, he thinks he's ready to do uh, damage control. He's trying to work on it now, uh, apparently. Uh, he's going to try and use his, uh, his position. So, to be fair, uh, from the cards, I'm seeing that Harry was, uh, even though he's an idiot, uh, he was going down more popular uh, than Meghan. Because Harry didn't have to, you know, uh, say that he was 43% uh, Nigerian uh, to, to get in that country. Uh, 
and I think that's an Anna uh, as well so I don't know what uh, please clarify that card we asked uh, is he frightened well yeah he is he is you know uh, they're concerned he can he absolutely feels that this is uh, coming out uh, no matter uh, what what will uh, you know Megan uh, and Harry try to do uh, to stop all this or dilute it This is a uh, delayed news, so you know. In this case, it's probably uh, dinner. What is it? Delayed news. Sorry, um, for stuff coming out. So uh, delayed news. So things that they've put in uh, the past that they've got to to come out. So we're going to be drowned uh, again. You know, uh, drowned and uh, so that they want all this uh, uh, away. But you know, will the mainstream media? Let Harry and Meghan get away with all this. Absolutely no. They're going to say you went there for money. You cost them money. You're a fraud. Uh, you're in debt. You, you know, you don't give any money. You're not a uh, fully fledged uh, charity. Uh, yeah, they're going to go for it, telling them that they're fraud. So the reason that they went there uh, was uh, to do with uh, this uh, trust and trades uh, trade organization uh that nigawi uh again sorry if i've said the name wrong i've done it a hundred times already um but yeah so it, it's a, a fraud you know will they uh press let them get away with it absolutely not absolutely not do you not think uh some of your big newspapers are gonna send out uh journalists and uh, reporters and pay them uh you know it's a very very uh poor country you could not get all those people uh, to sign uh ndas uh as well now i did hear uh that uh some of these uh people was threatened with uh jail uh you know so let's have a look if they didn't attend so uh was uh children uh, uh were people threatened with uh jail uh from a government official I think that's uh, creative, uh, I really do. I think there was a co collaboration, you know, between schools and communities uh, uh, and then uh, people obviously in the army and everything. You also had uh, them pay £14,000 uh, for, for good publicity and press. <laughs> I don't think... Uh, I mean, I don't know. It, probably fourteen grand in Nigeria uh, is an awful, awful, awful lot of money. But you know, I think uh, that's just collaborated because if you've got a strong dictatorship, uh, and we say to you, "You're going here on this such and uh, such date, and you're wearing this," then they will anyway. You know, you don't have to threaten to send them to to jail. Uh, they'll they'll do it. You know, all you have to do is probably you know uh, promise them uh, you know some nice food uh, and uh, drinks and stuff like that. So uh, it, it doesn't need to use force uh, and threaten jail because. Uh, people fear him anyway, you know, uh, and that's what they're scared of. So I, I'm not really uh, convinced here. I've got, you know, creative uh, collaboration. People happy to do so, you know. It's something different uh, to, to do as well. Um, I'm not sure it was all about meeting Harry and Meghan, uh, but, you know, uh, just itself, you know, being able to uh, look smart uh, and dress and, and, yeah, just, you know, oh, I, I've been picked uh, as well, you know. So I, I don't I don't feel it was uh, there was going to be sent to prison, but why why did they look uh, so quiet? Because they was told that. Yeah, they was told not to uh, look uh, charming, not to draw attention uh, from the royals. So no quick giggling or touching or holding hands or, you know, thumb sucking or, you know, uh, all that. That's their behaviour uh, and the standard that they was told to do. Not to be as charming as you usually are, you know, people. Um, and joking, and having fun, you know. Uh, it had to uh, come across like you was at a, a funeral. 
Okay, guys, uh, that's it from me. So, you know, the papers aren't going to let this go. Uh, Nick Howie, she might have uh, some things uh, to say um, to them. And I just get, you know, somebody who wants their second, uh, you know, uh, little bit of fame, but a lot of money, you know. I would, I would gladly uh, pay for a scoop on this. So it's all coming out. It's all coming out. Expect it. Uh, you're going to be looking uh, a week, maybe, uh, and and things start coming out, or things start coming out already. I mean, you've got cameras uh, and everything, you know, uh, journalists who can do lives. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, the media says you're a fraud, Harry and Meghan. You're a fraud, uh, and uh, you know we we all said it first, didn't we? Uh, and before I go, uh, I'd just like to uh, let you know, <laughs> yes, I am doing private uh, readings. Uh, there's always a link in the description box. Uh, if you have any problems with that uh, linking, just let me know. Uh, but also you can go on to www.bigfatpsychic.com uh, <laughs> uh, forward slash uh, shop. Now, I do have to mention a reading I did the other day. Uh, absolutely heartwarming and, uh, you know, affirming uh, 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 for uh, us. But I did a reading and I kept saying, I get that somebody's deaf. I said, uh, you know, I've got your husband saying uh, you don't listen. Uh, I said that somebody, you know, I think he's deaf. Um, anyway, so, I mean, the reading said other things, but <laughs> then she came back to me and she went, no, it's me that's deaf. <laughs> So I'm getting a hearing aid uh, popped in there, uh, you know, next week. So I said, I'm really looking forward to it. So I was like, oh, I said, that's, br you know, isn't it good eh, when you, you get stuff like that? I mean, we get stuff uh, like that all the time anyway, but it just stood out to me because I'm out of hearing uh, myself. So what a pleasure to know that your husband's coming through uh, and he's got, you know, he's saying something that there's no one nowhere i could have ever ever uh picked that up from so uh thank you very much thank you and also uh if you have had a, a purchased a reading of me uh and you haven't received it after three days uh that's is it 72 hours at the max uh then you should get in touch with me okay uh because some of you'd like to let your readings uh settle and you write to me a few weeks later um so yeah if uh, you know if ever uh, you haven't received a reading uh please just let me know okay guys uh, that's it from me and i'll be back soon with another reading bye now bye bye <laughs>